Hello and welcome to another Beamer Fixer video. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, we'll be doing a little product review on this little bit of kit, which is a wireless FM transmitter. Now, if you are a follower of my channel, you will know that uh, there will be an auxiliary um, port install going to be done on the BMW E60. Um, the only thing is at the moment, I'm just trying to get the software to do the, the auxiliary uh, thing to go on the iDrive. The socket install isn't the hard bit, it's actually getting some reliable software to um, code and program the, the iDrive. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this kit FM transmitter. Now I got this in Asda in the UK or Walmart if you're in the States. Um, so the idea of this is that it links your phone, um, the Bluetooth on your phone to this and then this will send a signal via um, the radio um, transmitter to your car radio. Um, allowing you to listen to music off your phone. There's also a built-in mic on this, um, so you can do um, a hands-free effectively as well on your on your phone. So we're going to give it a go. I've heard mixed things about them. Um, I mean, I've not really seen these or used one for quite a few years, and back then they weren't brilliant. So um, I'm hoping that they've come a long way now because that was quite a few years ago. Um, so yeah, so we'll we'll see how we go. We're gonna we'll get it out and and have a look. Okie dokie, so that was uh, fairly simple. So once you've unboxed it, um, just pop it into your cigarette lighter port um, and then you can either connect your device via USB port, which is along the top, or there's even an auxiliary socket on the side as well, so you can do that. Um, and then you can connect your phone via Bluetooth as well. And it just connects like you would connect it to your phone anyway or, or a speaker or anything like that, usual procedure. Um, yeah, and then, what you need to do is you need to set your frequency on your transmitter. Uh, we've set it to 87.5. Um, that's the signal we're going to, or the, the frequency we're going to use. Um, in the UK, it's a, a dormant frequency, so nothing really uses that. So there's less chance of any interference or anything like that, because we don't want that. Uh, and once you've done that, you set your car stereo to the same frequency, which we've done there, 87.5. And then, theoretically, we should get... So not too bad, um, that is stationary and I think driving around it may change, um, but overall that's not too bad, I thought it would be a lot worse, it used to be a lot worse back in the day, um, I think at low level, medium level, um, that that work just fine, I think um, the, the quality of the sound goes or deteriorates at slightly higher volumes, but we'll give it a go, we'll, uh, we'll leave it in there. Uh, at least I've got some uh, some music to listen to and it'll uh, pass the time until we actually get the software and get the auxiliary socket sorted. So yeah, there we go. Not too bad. I'll give it a 7 out of 10, I think. <laughs> Something like that. So that's the, the kit FM transmitter. Um, I hope this helps. I hope this has given you a slight insight into what those FM transmitters are like. If you've got one, um, let me know. If you might have a better one, in which case, let me know. Um, but that'd be that'd be great if you can. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you um, want to leave a comment, please leave a comment. And yeah, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. -bye.